Hi everybody and welcome to the Casually Avid Gamers 4th Minecraft Mini. Now we don't have a whole lot of time in these things as I am slowly learning. So let's get right down to it. Uh, today we are going to be building in our monastery a meditation glade just in this little area here. Uh, make it very kind of zen and peaceful in there if we can. Uh, which is kind of odd that we're doing it in a Minecraft Mini when we normally are frantically building things as fast as possible because we don't have much time. But uh, I think there's a certain Taoist balance to that, so we'll get moving on it. All right, I've got a rough area mapped out with, uh, you see the, the line of dirt here. Uh, and inside that is going to be our pool. So, and I want it to be two levels deep. So I need to now get, start chopping out this so we get the, get to too deep. I think rather than have this be dirt, I think I'm going to take it all out, which is actually sounding like a bigger job than I anticipated, but take the visible dirt out and replace it with, uh, smooth stone like this. Okay, I just wanted to show you guys a neat little effect I'm finding as I'm trying to make this whole thing two blocks deep uh, as I'm placing source blocks up higher. And it's kind of fun to watch it just chain across. So just check it out. Okay, now the uh, next step is to start replacing the visible dirt with some smooth stone. And I probably don't even have enough smooth stone in my inventory, but uh, I'll at least kind of start. You know, if you look over here, I just think it looks a little more, a little nicer than having just this wall of dirt. That's not very zen. You know, m mountain, zen. Dirt pile, uh, not so zen. All right, getting the last couple of visible pieces of dirt and then we will check and see how it looks okay we got the dirt out and the stone in and I think that looks quite a bit better um, that's a lot of gray but I'm really kind of thinking when we get our water streams in it's going to break up the look quite a bit so that's actually the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to start trying to find my spots to put my water streams in. I like how that works. I, I had tried putting in uh, four or five sources instead of just the three you see. And that was just a wall of blue, which was, you know, almost as bad as the wall of gray that was there before. S but this kind of breaks it up nicely, but doesn't, isn't just com completely monochromatic. So I like this quite a bit. And now I am kind of doing some landscaping around. Uh, I've planted some saplings. This one's already grown. So, but I've got bone meal for the rest. Okay, I found a solution to getting trees the height I wanted. And basically what I did is I pillared up two blocks with dirt, set a sapling on top of that, grew it, and now I'm just gonna knock off the dirt and make the tree as tall as I need. Next, I want to get a just very simple staircase in and a very simple meditation platform. This is our little meditation platform. Our various non-denominational monks can come down and they'll come across here. And they've got this and they've got the, the sound of the running water over here and some sort of nature tamed around and uh, they can do whatever these particular monks do, figure out what the sound of one hand clapping is or whatever. So, yeah, I, I like this. This is much better looking than, than it was before. And I think this is a really great addition to our monastery. Come back a little bit, a little gravel path to get there. So yeah, I like that much better than it was before. All right, we're up towards the top of the mountain next to our monastery, just taking a look from above. And man, you know what? That glade really just tied the monastery together. It pulled the, the stairs and the wall into the to our giant yin-yang, and this monastery is really coming together. So I hope you guys had fun. If you did, please like, please leave a subscribe. That would be great. I'll bring you fresh content twice a week. 
If you want, follow me on Twitter. That would be cool, too. And most importantly, you guys have a great week, and I'll talk to you next time.